Hello everyone, welcome you all for the next lecture of the course, Selenium with Java. This is lecture number 22, model number 3, topic is Selenium script web locators. Okay, in the previous lectures of model 3, we have learned the basic concepts of Selenium, introduction of Selenium, why it is required, what are the features, advantages, everything. And after that, Selenium suit means different component Selenium, Selenium web driver. Then we, uh, we have learned first program of launching the browser. Okay. Today we will understand what are various locators, web locators. Okay. Let's start now. Web locators. As the name indicates locators, locators means which indicates some location. Locators means which indicates some location. Web locators means which indicates the location of web and we know websites are designed with html and css html is hypertext markup language css is cascading style sheet so all the websites which we design those are designed in the language html okay, and css so if you want to test those websites then we have to deal with the html element then how to find this html element uh, for that we are having web locators. Locators are, are used to identify the locations. Web locators are used to identify the web location. Web location is HTML location, HTML element location. Because web pages are designed with the help of HTML element. So we have to deal with HTML elements if we want to find the HTML element. Okay. So web locators are used to identify the HTML element on the web page. Okay. Web locators are used to identify or locate HTML element on the web. Okay. Now there are various types of locators. So Selenium supports eight types of locators. Locator can be ID, by ID, by name, by class name, by tag name, by link text, by partial link text, by CSS selector, by X part. Okay. So, we will learn one by one in detail with the example. Okay. Simplest web locator or fastest or easiest locator is ID. Okay. But the condition is that ID should be unique. It should not match with the other ID. So, ID should be unique. Okay? So, find web element through unique ID. Okay. Syntax driver dot five driver is web driver, which you have used dot find element by dot id then value of that id driver dot find element by dot id because we are finding with the id then value of id similarly we can find web element with the help of name find web element through unique class name uh, not class name name is different class name is different here it is name only okay this is typing mistake Find web element through unique name. Then syntax is driver dot find element by dot name and the name of the tag. Same we can do with the tag name. Find web element through tag name. Syntax is driver dot find element by dot tag name, then value of that tag, HTML tag. Okay. For ID, by dot ID, value of that ID. For name, by dot name, name of that element. For tag, by dot tag, tag value. This is the example. Okay. Uh, we have learned the launching the browser in the previous lecture. So that is the first step for any program. Now on yours. Okay. So first you have to launch that website. So again, I'm give, uh, giving a quick review overview of the last program. First, we have to mention the property of the driver, which type of driver we are going to use. So syntax is system dot set property. Okay. Here, first mention the driver. Web driver is Chrome driver. So web driver dot Chrome dot driver. Then location of that web driver. Okay. Then these two lines are uh, for the latest version of Chrome, there is a bug. Okay, it, uh, it is not opening the URL, just open the Chrome due to some this original issue. So this is Chrome options. Option uh, is the object. 
new from options. Okay. Then uh, option dot add argument remote allow options. Okay. Otherwise, we will not get your URL open. Then we have used web driver. Mention the web driver. Take some variable. I have taken WD initial web driver. You can write here driver also. Okay. Or anything else. A, B, C, D, whatever. So web driver WD goes to new Chrome driver. Here inside this option is composite. This variable main. main Otherwise, your URL will not open. Okay. Then we want that if URL open, the window should be maximize form so window uh, web driver variable wt dot manage for managing for what window dot window what do you want you want to maximize the window so dot maximize okay now here i have taken the example of facebook.com okay so i want to open this url w.cat facebook.com okay now uh, i have uh, after opening the url i want to Enter username, password, and I want to click button. How oh, I'll show you this practical. Okay. Uh, opening, uh, I'm closing this PPT mode. I'm just opening this Eclipse. Just start your Eclipse now. Okay. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have done this uh, launch browser uh, class. Today, uh, click on this your package element script. If you remember, we have created our Java project within module 3 selenium script. In module 3 selenium script in SRC, we have created package name selenium script. In package name, we have done this program launch browser. Next, I'm doing locators. So right click on the package, new class. Uh, I'm giving name examples, example web locators. Okay, I'm including the main method here, finish. Okay, so see here, package name is Selenium script, and class name is example web locators. Okay, now we want to deal with the Facebook dot com. Okay. Now see. First of all, I have to mention the web driver for the syntax is system dot set property. Okay, now here property is driver dot chrome driver web driver dot chrome driver. Chrome dot driver, sorry. See here location of this web driver. How to set the location? I'm having the uh, Chrome web driver in my C drive, Selenium folder. In Selenium folder, driver folder, in driver folder, in Chrome driver. I'm having this. Okay, so just copy this location over here and pasting over here. After that, I have to uh, add one more slash that chrome driver dot exe. So it's an exe file. So chrome driver dot exe. Okay, but it's comma close. Again, it is showing error. Why? See. Not allowed the single access. We have to add the one more. Okay. Now, so this uh, again one more error is there. Insert this colon, semicolon. Then this is the system property. Okay. Next, we have to allow the remote allow uh, Chrome options yet. Chrome options within variable name options goes to new. I'm taking it, uh, it from this previous example. Otherwise, can, there can be typing mistake. Okay. 
Chrome option C should be capital O should be capital C is, is a case sensitive option. I'm giving here the keyword option. You can give anything else. Options dot add arguments. This so these two lines is okay. uh, as there was bug in the latest version of one one three Chrome. So we have to add these two lines. Previously the, uh, there was no need of the adding these two lines. Okay, it was what from Now we have created a web driver. App driver. I'm taking a variable wt, otherwise, you can take any name equals to new Chrome driver. Inside in bracket is options. Okay. Now, what is the issue here? Syntax error, insert this. We have already insert this. Okay. A minute. See here, uh, web driver, there's no space in between. I'm not doing the space. Web driver, WT equals new. Chrome driver, also no space. Here. Create class, uh, create class Chrome driver because it's saying Chrome driver cannot be a type variable type. Means it should be import here, but here import Chrome driver not important. Here import only Chrome option. So for importing, see the suggestions. Click on this red sign. Hmm. Uh, seven fixes are there. Chrome driver, create record. No, we have to change this. We have to import this. Okay. Selen dot Chrome. Now this error will remove. Okay. Now web driver. Import web driver also. Okay. So uh, if I am getting any warning or any uh, error, then you can go to the suggestion. So you can understand which type of error is there and how to resolve that error. Web driver done. Okay. Now why I want I want to open the URL WD. WD is your web driver it has dot. I want to open the URL WD dot get. Otherwise, we will get the suggestion dot. Here why how is this dot sign from here? You will get a suggestion. If you are not getting suggestion, that means there will be some mistake in the program. Dot get string URL. Now I want to uh, open the URL facebook.com. Okay. So facebook.com, this is site. This copy. I'm copying from here. Okay. Because in the site, there is HTTP or HTTPS. That is mandatory. Without it, it will not understand the actual URL. That's why I have taken from the site also. After opening this URL, I want this window should be maximized. Screen. I want to manage this window. So WD driver name dot manage. What I want to manage? I want to manage the window. Why? What I want to manage the window? How? I want to maximize it. Okay. Then I want. Uh, to enter the username and password, but first I'll show you this. Okay, run this program. Run. Okay, first Chrome driver is opening, then Facebook side open and it maximizes because we have entered programs up to here only. We have just entered the URL and we have just maximized. We have entered the URL and we have just maximized. Now, next, I want to enter the email address, enter the password, and I want to click on the log. Okay. Means now the part of web locators comes here. Okay. So, see, uh, look at carefully. C place a cursor at email address, right click on it, and click on install. Okay. Here, the three dots are there. Click on this. The third one, top side. So, it will be at bottom. And it will be easy. 
if you are confused, again here, the place of cursor at the email address and click on inspect. See here, uh, the blue color, huh? this is the portion is here. Okay. See here, selected portion, input type, text, class, name, ID. These are different values. Input is tag, type is attribute, class is the, again a web element, name is also an element, ID is also an element. These are different tags. So you can search this element by ID, by name, just I have explained with the PPT, by ID, by name, by class, by this tag. Okay. So these are different web elements. Similarly for password also, you can click on inspect, this is for password. Okay name, ID, perfect. So now how to deal this comment. After opening this, I want to find web element for username. So WD driver dot find element. Find element by top. I want to find by ID because first I have uh, learned this ID. We are learning ID from first attribute. So now check the ID. ID of this email address. See here in this setting, ID is email. Copy from here, don't type because there can be typing mistake. Just copy from here only. Okay. Email. What I will do? If I will find this element, what I will do with this? I want to enter my email address. If I will find this element, I want to enter my email address. So that is done by the using dot send keys. I'm not getting suggestion means something wrong here, means the double quotes are missing. Dot, I'm getting now suggestions. Dot send keys. And here you can put your uh, email address, whatever. Okay, close. Okay. Similarly, I can do with this password also. Password, see, ID should be unique. So in username, ID was email. Here, ID is pass. So ID is unique. So I can use, if your ID is same, then I cannot use because it will be confused which ID we want to do. Okay. So again, wd dot find elements by dot ID here password dot Send keys. I'm getting the wrong password. You know very well why. Okay. Now, after finding this password, entering password, I want to click on login. So, right click on this login, then inspect. In login, your ID is this much. But maybe this ID can change every time. Okay. So, this ID cannot work. Still, I will take care for your understanding. Okay. For a login, wd dot find element. Okay, by what ID and ID is what I want to do now. I don't want to enter something, I just want to click the dot. Okay, now run this one. Take some time, don't worry. First, this Chrome is working, Facebook you are an open. See, username is working properly, uh, perfectly it's working fine. Password also it has entered, but it did look, uh, click on login. Why? Inspect. Okay, uh, Tom at bottom side. See, again I'm inspecting this login button. See here the selected area. Here ID is U05C8. And I have entered U054. Means ID is changing every time. So ID is changing every time. So ID will not work for this. Okay. So the rule number one was for ID is if you see here the carbon paper, unique ID. But ID is changing. So for that, ID will not work. So come to the next point, find by name. Okay. Now we'll find by name this login button inspect. Name is login. So we'll try with this name. 
normally. Okay. We try with this label. Okay, now see whether it's working fine or not. Home driver is working properly. We are opening, maximizing, username entered, password entered, and yes, login button is perfectly fine. It's working open. Understood? So now we understood the name concept of this. Can we change name for this ID and password also? Username and password also? Let's see. Inspect. Here, name is email for password. Name is pass. So you can find by name also. Here, name email, here, name pass. Okay. Here, if I change its name, because name and ID are same. The values are same. Now see. Form driver started properly. No issue. You are working. Username entered. Password entered. And login button is also working. Understood? So means you can find uh, ID is working for, uh, perfectly and your uh, name is also working pro uh, perfectly. But was uh, ID was not working for login button because that ID was changed. Okay. So now ID is done, name is done. Third is tagging. Tagging. See, like this here, in login button, inspect, tag, name is button. Simple. Because here in login button, class is so much big, we cannot take, we can take lo login name, because name is unique. And our ID is uh, what changing. So we have uh, done with name, we can done with this tag also. Tag is button. Now let's by dot tag name. Otherwise, I will take the dot tag tag name. And tag name I will take from here. Button. Now let's start now. Format I will start it. URL is working, username entered, password entered, and click also. This tag name is working. Okay. Tag name also done. Here, but ID is done. We are fine by ID, we are fine by name, we are fine by tag name. What is next? So, first is ID, ID should be unique, name should be unique, tag name should be unique. Now, next is class name. Okay. Next is class name. See, class name is see here. Uh, this is site of knocky.com here. Uh, some field is there. You want to enter something. Save class is there. This is the class name. Form record. Okay. Uh, suppose I'm taking the example of, let's taking the example of google.com. Okay. Okay. In google.com, I want to Enter this uh, search button. I want to and uh, search the selling Okay, enter here. So how to write this? First, uh, inspect this Google site. Okay. Click on this down three dots. Come to bottom. Here, if I inspect over here, see text area classes uh, direction id is also there i can find by id also find by name also okay find by class name also all the uh, parameter id I, by id by name by class name so we will take the example of class name. okay so what i'll do i'll make the one more program otherwise uh, i'll what i'll do is to I'll comment over it. Take the example of Google. Okay. So URL I'm 
take in google.com you are in the chain this take in from this google.com okay now wb dot find element i dot class name okay what is class name here class name is glf file but after taking this class name what i have to do i have to enter some information because i want to search something dot send keys what I want to search, I want to search the name, introduction, whatever. Okay. Now let's see. Here uh, uh, I am not taking this window maximize, so I'm taking this, otherwise, we can visit on that story. Okay. See, the Google site is opening, cell name introduction means this is perfectly working. Class is perfectly working. So remember, here, if I search by this ID, then it will also work. This is ID. ID is very easy. Okay. Okay. Double quotes. Top side views. Well, I'll search something and just let it kind of work. Here, uh, what is the error? Same thing, same thing. Quotes. No, same thing. See, by ID also it is working fine. Okay. Uh, and by ID is done here. By class name also done here. By name also, simple as Q1. You can find it by name also. That is Q. name. And it so in this way in the Google we have the uh, completeness by ID, by name, and by class. Okay. So what is the next? The class name also done. Next is name text. Suppose you want to click on any link. If you want to click on any link, and link is generally anchor tag. This site is link is only on the, the anchor tag. Anchor tag. Suppose this, uh, in this uh, uh, Facebook example, okay, I want to click on this link for button password. If I'll inspect over here, inspect. This anchor A is there. This is your link. Uh, you can find element by link text. Okay. What is link text? See here. This anchor start A, edge reference. This link is over there. After this link, this text is there. Forgotten password. I'll copy it. So I can find this uh, forgotten password link by link text. So how to use it? Let's see. So now. I'm making this comment on Google part. Okay. Now I'm back to the Facebook part. Okay. Now after clicking on button, I just uh, want to click on this link text. So wd dot find elements. And here I 
dot link text. What is link text? I'll copy from here. See, I want to click on this forgotten password. Right click inspect. Always link start from anchor. Remember, from anchor. Okay. Here text is when this link over, then there is text before closing this anchor. Forgotten password. Copy this link. Paste over here. Okay. Double quotes. Um, now we'll try this, run this code. Driver working fine. Login is also working. You are opening. Username entered, password entered. Login button is also clickable. This password is wrong. Uh -huh. yeah. So my security code, I don't know why it is. Uh, maybe after click on login, this uh, will be here. So what I will do, I will just comment this also. Like after opening this, I just I don't want to enter username, password, and click this. I just want to check on the forgotten password. Okay. Run this. Your face is URL open. Okay. I have not entered username. I have not entered password. I have not entered the login because that was coming. So this forward password link should be clickable. Start clicking. Let me see. Oh, because I have not uh, then click this. Dot click. That's why it won't not work. Okay. Now run it. Travel started. Login page started. Forward pass. Clickable. Understood. Okay. So this is the for link text. Similarly, we can do for partial link text. WD dot find element I dot partial. Partial link text means we can uh, type partial words. Uh, this is forgotten part of the full link text. I am just taking the half of it. Dot click. Now, let me check. I have to comment over this link text. Uh, whether it is finding with only four also or not. Let me check. Run it. From driver working fine. Facebook is open. Yes. Means it is finding the web element through link text and through partial text. Link text also to partial. Okay. So we have done which are how much locators? We have done the locators, uh, ID locators, and then name locator, tag locator, class name locator, then link text locator, and partial link text locator. Okay. See, this is working. Previously, this was an error, but here is working. Okay, I'm again showing you. If you run this, run this first, the URL will open, Facebook URL open, then window maximize and enter username, enter password, then click on login button. After login button, password is wrong, so then click on forward password. Okay. So, how much we have completed now? We have completed. ID, name, class name, tag name, link, the password. CSS and expert, we will learn the next lecture. Okay. So, till that time, thank you so much. Keep learning.